Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a really long time since I posted a video. I'm officially done school for this semester. Whoops. And uh, I have a lot more time on my hands for CMF drafts, other videos and different things like that. But more importantly, reviews. I've got a lot of 2019 sets, haven't had any time to post them. And um, Justin's been nice enough to wait to post some of the ones that I really wanted to review. And this was one of them. I really wanted to show off one of the features in this set. But anyways, uh, the set in front of you is set number 60213 Dockside Fire. Uh, this is a 2019 set I got from Mastermind Canada. So let's go ahead and look at it closer. All right, well, looking at the dock here, first, I'm a sucker for play sets. So this is really cool little side build. It comes with a dock with some cool pieces there to add to the detail of the dock, as well as a little sign with a sticker there of a car going off into the ocean. So just warning cars, I guess, hey, the water's in front of you. But uh, anyways, uh, it comes with a little octan, two octan barrels, as well as a fire, which we will get to in a second. Something to note here that I found interesting was that there's technicals on the side. I'm not sure if this is meant to connect to something else. Maybe that one of the hotel with this fire. I'm not sure. There's also some on the other side. So I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll get other sets that can connect to this. That'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd show that off. All right. So next we're going to be looking at the boat itself from the set. And uh, I think it's really nice. It has... This, the bottom hull is one part, and it comes with a sticker on the side with actually the set number and the fire logo, and it's also repeated on the other side. When I was looking at the 4 Plus barbecue set, the fire truck actually had the light yellow in the color scheme, so I thought that was interesting that they're moving away from like the regular yellow and more to the light yellow for all their vehicles. Um, on the back here is a motor, which I think is built really well. Uh, the bottom there can spin, and you can rotate it up and down uh, so that it can go in the water. Um, and then uh, inside there is a spot for the figure to sit, and there is a double cheese slope there with some printing on it. That's about it for the boat itself, but the most important and most interesting part to me was the new stud shooter system that they have here. So. I really like the idea of it. I don't like where it's placed. And um, I'll show you how it works here. So what you do is it can hold three flat studs and they're, they're trans bl light blue and you just push the peg at the back. See, it's hard to, it's hard to do. And they shoot it off really well, but uh, they shoot off all three. But it's the positioning here I don't think works really well. It's hard to get in. Again, maybe my hands are bigger and maybe kids can um, use this feature a lot better. But for me, I don't think it really works. All right, so we're going to try and hit the fire off of the barrel. Boom. Third try. Anyways, that's what you're supposed to do uh, is hit the fire off. And I don't think I showed this off before, but here it is here. It's like the the parts that you put underneath the ship so that they can move better uh, with four fire pieces. And you just place that on top of um, the barrel so that it's on fire. And let's take a look at the figures. First is the fireman who actually has the uniform in dark mustard, which I'm not sure if this is the first time that something like this is happening. I've never gotten a figure with this, so this is really cool to have. Um, they come with some back printing as well there with the fire logo there. And their accessory is just a regular walkie-talkie. And if you take their the life jacket piece off, you can see that there's some nice torso printing there. Moving on to the dock worker, he comes with a goon hat in dark navy. So that's always nice to get, as well as a regular face print that we've gotten tons of times before. Um, and, a, and some nice fishermen or cargo jacket printing as well as someone that carries over to the back. So for all my reviews, I think I'm just going to show off the set and not the box and the instructions unless there's something interesting. Uh, I'll leave that for Justin to do. But uh, so with this set, I did actually find something interesting. It has this on the front of the instructions. It has a printed bag one and two. So I'm not really sure why that is. I have a bunch of the other 2019 sets and uh, that's the only place that it's showing that. 
so I just thought that was interesting. Also, the QR code there, um, you can scan that with the LEGO Life app, and it'll actually pull up the set. Uh, but that's it for this. So overall, I think that this is a really great set. I paid $24.99 Canadian for it, which means that it's $19.99 American. Um, so overall, this is a great set with, uh, I really like this printing here. Um, and the figures that we get are pretty good. I do really like the new feature. I don't think that it works well here. So I'm excited to see it used in maybe some other sets, even if they bring this over into Star Wars or any of the other uh, superhero properties. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Be sure to come back uh, to see some more 2019 reviews. I've gotten my hands on a couple that I think that you all will be interested in. So uh, be sure to come back for that. I hope that you all have a great day and I will see you all in the next video.